it can be difficult for government departments and other public sector bodies to access the groundbreaking new technologies that could solve many of the tough challenges they face. Since April 2009, more than 70 government organisations have taken part in SBRI, awarding over £270 million worth of contracts. One of these SBRI competitions was run by the National Oceanography Centre to find a more cost and energy efficient way of carrying out oceanographic research by using unmanned marine surface vessels. It's a very costly business to be in, operating large manned vessels all around the world. So getting into t new technologies that can do that smarter and more cheaply was really attractive for us. The Sea Enduro is a remotely operated unmanned marine system. Um, it's able to navigate on the surface of the ocean, deploy a range of sensors to collect data. There are lots of applications where we're able to replace a ship with an unmanned surface vessel. This reduces costs, reduces the amount of fuel burnt, and also provides the potential to gather even more data from more areas and more locations. The SBRI process has been fantastic for us in being able to get from an idea to an actual new product that we know suits the need of some of the end users. I think without that um, stepping stone it would have been quite difficult to have privately developed a product and then tried to sell it directly to the, the government body. ASV employed about 30 people before we started the SBRI scheme um, and as of today we have actually 55 employees in total. So we've definitely grown in size during the SBRI um, process. The global market for unmanned marine systems is, is growing very rapidly um, and recent estimates have put it actually now into the, the hundreds of millions of pounds. This was the first SBRI project we've been involved with but we've been very impressed with it as a process for working with industries that can provide the kind of skills and um, capabilities that we just don't have in-house to tackle the problems that are facing us. The capability of Sea Enduro to remain at sea unmanned for extended periods actually fills that gap really nicely and gives us a, a unique capability that we didn't have before. The real advantage to public sector organisations being involved in SBRI is that providing they can articulate the problem they're trying to solve clearly, you can quickly and efficiently get together with innovative organisations to look at how to solve those problems. Applying to SBRI is simple. If you're a business, you can find the latest competitions and apply online, interact.innovateuk.org. If you're a government organisation, email sbri at innovateuk.gov.uk for more information.